Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here to the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using the No Step Back DLC, in which we're of course playing as Lithuania, but we're going to reconvene the Saimas. With the coup secured and Antananas' Monotla's control of the government absolute, it is time that we reconvene the Saimas to more efficiently govern the nation with loyal ministers at the dictator's side. Oh boy. Now, um, oh, the remilitarization of the Rhineland. What is this one? Free the dude. Oh, that's not bad. But I think I want to go with the king for our people, so... We need to exile them and Lithuanian preservationism. We could exile them, let them pr preserve them. The Republic of Lithuania is young and still finding her place in the world. Many would see her to submit to communism, the F word, or liberalism. But we must avoid the impulse to cave to these foreign influences. A truly independent Lithuania must find her way alone. Would you get lose democracy, communist, and F word support, and get more daily online support? And it helps us with political advisor costs. Now we have a couple of national spirits here. We have low iron wolf threat. We also have Agarian society. We have the underfunded military, which sucks, as well as the Saimos, which is... Uh, uh. Can we give him a political power, though? I don't mind staying uh, on a line. Prince of Terror. Ooh. Agricultural Nationalist. Ooh. Well, it doesn't look like we can't get any more political power. And the cost is very high, anyways. Um, we need more command power. I'll probably go with one of these guys. Or we can go straight to partial mobilization. But that's extra political power. That's not going to help us out an extreme amount. So I want to get some more daily army XP. Yeah, that guy, Albinas Sepas, is probably the way we're going to go. Because as much as I love artillery, yeah, this is the way we, we probably should do things. Okay, so we've got electronic mechanical engineering. Thank you very much. Probably follow it up with. Yeah, we got to do both. So exile. Voldemaras. Voldemaras. With Augustinus Voldemaras. Safely beyond bars, one would think that the threat of the bark of the Iron Wolf would have no bite, but his organization is still agitating for his release and an active threat in the nation. If Voldemaras is freed but banished over from ever entering Lithuania again, the Iron Wolf movement will inevitably lose traction and we will be freed from the threat they pose. Cool. And more daily arm XP is very bueno. So we do want to at least attempt to unite, unify all the Baltics with us together and then get Poland with us to make the Commonwealth to go down the King for People. Because the Greater Con sounds like a lot of fun, and that's a lot of cores. One, two, three, fifty-two cores, more cores for Lithuania. So that'd be awesome, 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 awesome if we can. Um, there's, of course, no guarantee, but it's all right. We'll probably go with more artillery, honestly. We'll probably do that one. We got the Iron Wolf. Uh, Iron Wolf partisans will be disabled. Oh, wow. Okay. And also, we're on Aestorical, but they crowned a king. That might or might not be a good thing for us. 142, that's a little better. Um, but 142 is definitely better than it was earlier. Political power. With everyone here, I want to get this guy. This one's okay. Not really worth it. This is not bad either. So 1, 2. And elusive gentlemen, probably. We don't really need 5% more political power gain. So, probably best to wait. We're partial mobilization. We're the Iron Wolf. Iron Wolf Parsons will be nice to disable. Yeah. They're an organizing nation over time. They'll inevitably increase their support among the Lithuanian peoples. And may eventually feel emboldened to commit a coup on the government. Oh, oh, there goes Ethiopia. Goodbye, Ethiopia. Uh, honestly, yeah, it might not be bad to do it right now. I want to do a king for people, though, but let's see this. Root out the Iron Wolf. Although ex exiling M Voldemaras has halted future Iron Wolf efforts to overthrow the government, the organization still exists, and these men must be pushed off far of the political fringes to ensure a stable future for the Lithuanian military. Oh, you can get political advisor, daily democracy support, consumer goods, and support for online. That's not bad either, so. And restore, or Rastiki's military reform. That's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Patriotic education would be very nice as well. Actually, land auction cost goes down by 10%. That's not too bad either, so. Not bad. And right now we're building some cities. Uh, we are making some guns. We got some construction done. Not too bad. It's still 36, of course. Uh, radio, why not? Get some more coordination. And we have our military here, which is okay. It's not great. Okay, honestly, hmm, we could get some more of this stuff, but this is kind of generico, and there you go, Spain, I think I'd rather use it for stability right now, get more stability, stability is really nice to have, but we left, now I've gone down to play Lithuania and restored the Workers' Republic and done the seek the support of the Soviets, so, I definitely want to try something other than Kymes, because this is basically the same tree for Estonia, and Latvia, and Lithuania, so, we're out the Iron Wolf, which we lose, ooh, Remove the threat. Oh, so because we have, what? Low Iron Wolf threat, which we can get rid of that stuff, so. That'll be nice. Actually, is this going up at all? It is going up, which is good. After that, oh, Lithuanian Activist Front. Ooh, 1% more population is not bad. More recruitable population factor. 
Daily command power gain, conscription laws. Oh. Iron Wolf volunteers, though. Hmm. Hmm. But after that, we can do Priestly Prime Minister. Interesting. Plus 50% political power gain. But then you'd be forced to go down this route. Uh, Priestly Prime Minister. No. You'd be forced to go down here. That seems like you avoid a lot of stuff. But a king for people. <clears throat> a king for Lithuania. Antananas Smetnona cannot rule Lithuania alone. And while many expect the president to sign a prime minister, there's always another option. Karl Gero von Urach is a legitimate son of Mingdaus II and with the Shroud of German rule no longer hanging over the head of Lithuania. There's nothing stopping us from crowning our own king. Not a bad idea. You got 10 days left for that thing. It's fine, we have 71% stability, which is nice. Very nice. Actually, since we're here, no occupied territories. Uh, chief of the army, expert of... Ooh, that's not bad. We're honestly probably going to need that guy. This is not too bad either. But he's 200 political power. Man, that's so much. 0 0.09 artillery. That would help us out maybe a little bit more. I don't go on defense too much. We'll get some artillery guy. We're really going to focus on a lot of army XP here. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, this is a 35 day focus. Why? Why is... I purposely did not set, set it up like this. Like, holy crap. Why do they go king? And then you went king as well. That's actually... Hmm... And, oh, well, I guess Germany re, re the Rhineland as well. So, okay. All right, well, whatever. Sure, why not? Can we still get them under us if they become... Well, they got a peasant strike. Well, we'll see what happens with that. But, oh, what the, oh, we had manpower. Well, we had manpower. Oh, we're not even making divisions. Whoops. Um, as much as I like that division template, this is, this is an okay division template. It's not great. It's not bad. It, it works. For the most part. For the most part. We have our king for people. Establish royal guards. A new noble class... Yeah, I'll do that one. Our nation has been ruled by politicians and oligarchs for too long. For the king to serve Lithuania, he must have a court of loyal nobility to preside over. King Ming Daos III. On June 4th, 1918, Willem Karl von Orak was democ democratically elected as King of Lithuania, with overwhelming support. However, interference from his, the German Empire meant that the referendum was declared no longer Lithuania was never united with their king. However, the late king had a son, and with German rule over Lithuania now becoming a distant memory, Antanas Smetona has invited Karl Gerol von Orak to become Lithuania's new king. The royal, young royal has been crowned as Ming Daos III, and though he is currently limited to a ceremonial role, their plans in place to empower the new Lithuanian monarchy. Long live the king! Oh, nice flag. Oh, can we click on him and see the king? No? Okay. Whatever. The nation and its power. You get more daily political power and war support, which is not bad either. We could do the Force Brothers, but we're going to wait for that one. Um, artillery. Oh, anti air. And artillery, probably. Hmm. Abolish a presidency. Okay, he becomes a leader, so that's good. Uh, presidential reform. We can get some daily army XP as well. But I do want to support monarchism in Poland as fast as possible. And claim Livonia. So, let's rush down here. As much as I want this, right, and I really, really want it. Stop royal guards. With the monarch now seated on the throne, it is vital that we find only the most elite among the ranks of the Lithuanian army to be charged with the personal protection of a beloved monarch. A royal guard, if you will. Absolutely. So is this hook? Oh my goodness. Wow, 0.08. Not bad. Yeah. A lot more army defense? Might as well. Lots and lots and lots of lots and lots and lots of army XP. Rogue is railway system, but we're gonna do that one. We unify the Baltics. So we can reform the Commonwealth. Because all Lithuania and Polish states. Um Average compliance with Kingdom of Poland and Lithuania have to be at 80%. Holy crap. Might want to unify the Baltics first and then do that, so we gotta rush down here. Which way are they going? Allied investments. The sun shines equally. Alright, and you guys are doing what? Low democratic opposition. High VAPS tension. Oh boy. Yeah, we gotta move fast. Establish Royal Guards. Nice. And abolish the presidency. So thus far, Smeton has retained rulership of the nation, but with the growing popularity of Mingdaus III, or Mingdaugus, Mingdaugus III, it seems prudent that the office of the presidency be abolished and replaced with the absolute rule of the king. Smetona will resign to the royal prime minister, serving the young Mingdaus, Mingdaus, I keep saying Mingdaus, Mingdaugus III as his advisor. Up oh, and they're going fascist. And we get 10% more stability, which is great, because this guy gives us nothing. Thanks for nothing, Antanas. Thank you for nothing. Ming Daogus. I Ming Dao. I was using Ming Dao just because it was a, a like show on like Cartoon Network it was like Ming Dao or something like that. I can't remember. It was a Crowder or something. Chowder. Chowder Crowder? Chowder? Chowder? I can't remember. Oh, and Japan might be going communist. Nice. And we could really get 1.46, not bad. Pretty good. And concealment. 
I mean, you might as well. You might, literally might as well. We have an air, a small air force, though. It's not bad. There you go. Pile on. And then we'll probably have to raise the conscription level eventually. Yeah, but we be good. We gotta get rid of the Gearing Society, which is not good either. And five is not terrible, but could be better. Um, Turkey. Oh, hello. How's Spain doing? Nationalist is probably still gonna win. Quite communist, though. International Brigade is not bad. Oh, never mind. They're probably gonna die. Catalonia. Yeah, anarchists. So what's going on in the Soviet Union here? Joseph Stalin. He's doing. He's a heart. He has heart of steel. Huh. Establish some royal daddies and abolish the presidency. And we wanted to support monarchism in Poland as fast as possible. So just like Lithuania, Poland was meant to elect herself a new king as well. Unlike Lithuania, though, the Poles failed to find a suitable king for the throne. Maybe, but we can provide the Polish people with a strong ruler they were promised. Someone to defend Poland from German imperialism. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, a division! All the four divisions, yes. Go right here. Do you have supply? Oh God, you have supply issues already. Twenty conquests, not bad. Okay, seven two, not bad. Old, tried and true. Sure, 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 sure. We're missing a lot of guns. We got some artillery though, which is nice. Uh, Anti-air. Yeah, we'll get through that on there eventually. Yeah, this is all we can make. We don't have ships. Anyone want a train? Oh, also we want to make sure that. Oh, we need trucks. Oh crap, we need trucks. I forgot about that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Twenty-three days radio detection. God, no trucks. God dang it. Or we just say reorganize the railway system. Oh, we can do this one. Command, commandeer. Oh, we need civilian trains too. Well, there goes Hindenburg disaster. Oh. Yep, the kingdom lives again. Crap. Oh, there he is. Ming Daugus the third. Nice hair, dude. Lithuanian preservationism? Oh. Okay. Uh, claim Livonia? Yeah. Among the Baltic nations, there is an unbreakable sense of brotherhood and camaraderie. And now that we have a king on our throne, we stand to claim that sense of brotherhood as a divine right. Trucks, trucks, trucks. Oh, 177 days. Please keep... Can you please kill the fascist movement so they don't join uh, the Axis? Please, 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 please. Authoritarian Sal Saima. Huh. Did this support online? That's not bad. Carl's uprising now. That's not bad either. And go military theorist. Just so we can keep... My god, Spain is a mess. Oh my gosh. That is quite disgusting, if I do say so myself. Alright, everyone. So now it's October 26th, 1937. And we've done an extra focus. Uh... Such as Claim Livonia. Among the Baltic nations, there is an unbreakable sense of brotherhood and camaraderie. And now that we have a king on the throne, we stand to claim that sense of brotherhood as a divine right, followed up with armed monarchist militants. We know there are those across the borders who wish to see Ming Daugus III bring order and prosperity to their nation as he has for us. We must be willing to arm these monarchist militants so that they may fight to bring their rightful monarch to their throne. Now we can claim Greater Lithuania. Not sure it really does anything for us too much right now, especially since we can get the Baltic states under us and maybe Poland. We can seize East Prussia, get some cores on them too, but. Uh, might want to wait. More daily political power is not bad. Integrate the opposition. Uh, Anastiki's military reforms is also not bad. Of course, we have the other tree all the way over here as well. Actually, you know what I should have done? Well, actually, maybe not. It's because Lithuanian activist front, this would have been bad, but it probably cancels, because I want to get that pop like, recruitable population, but it probably cancels as soon as, you know, you take root out the Iron Wolf, but it is what it is. So for now, let's see. Purge popular resistance. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, getting cost reduction, this would be really good to get. Rastiki's military reforms. Uh, the military is ill prepared to face a threat of the magnitude and severity that another German invasion would bring, and it is vital that the military arm of the government bring competent leadership to the patriotic men of Lithuania's army. Probably not a bad idea, but right now, as you can see, we're at war with Latvia, and we're doing okay. Not doing great, but we're doing a okay. A okay. So, time to go on in, see what we can do. Some of these divisions are extraordinarily weak as we're getting beaten up here, which does kind of suck, but whatever. Um, we do need to get to Riga. Ooh, just you guys go in here. Just keep start start the fight there. Let's just start it. You guys go there too. See what you can do. Let you all go. Um, we should be able to break over to Riga, but we'll see what happens. Uh, get some convoys. That'd be pretty darn nice to do. And we need, do need to raise conscription level as we're currently doing as well. More stuff to, for current claim strength in uh, Poland. With Ming Daugus III now sitting on the Livonian throne, we have the divine right to claim Poland's rightful part of our nation. They're investing in Poland. Look at this more propaganda, too. Oh, and what happened to Spain? Oh, the nationalist won. Oh, they actually won, huh? Go figure. Hey, we broke over the river. Nice. Not bad. So all you need to do, really. Go there and go there, and you'll be done. And I want you to go right there. You might get a little bit in circle, but that's all right. That's a risk worth taking. Nice. Oh, uh. 
Oh, it's going to the wrong one we wanted to go to, but whatever. There you go. There you go, too. Just in case. Just in case. But for 37 overall, not too bad. We're not really going to probably use too many tanks here. We need some, oh, God. We need some engineers. And Latvia's gone. Thank you, Latvia. Uh, we can't take all of you yet, but there you go. And time for Estonia. See what we can do with these guys, too. Oh, look at that. Doctrine's available. We have nothing researched here, which does kind of suck. We can go Mass Assault, but... I'm going to go Grand Battle Plan, because I love it. I love Grand Battle Plan now. I love it much more than I used to. Mm, invest in Poland. You might as well. Arm them. That, that should be good enough. So we... Ooh, random Polish general against Yuga Monica Sympathies. Kind of don't mind that, but we need our political power for now, too. And we get 1.47, which is not bad. But we need to raise a conscription level, which is pretty bad right now, so... Now they attack us, which is fine. Do that. Spare us a little bit of manpower. Occupy territory's anti comintern pact. Germany is proposing that we sign a pact to address the Comintern's goal of uh, spreading communism worldwide. The Comintern's goal, yeah. Through the use of subversion and violence. But by signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against this menace. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I want that one just because this one uh, has cavalry and gives higher suppression, so. Yeah. That's not bad. There you go. Yeah, let them attack us. Actually, will they attack us again? I kind of wonder if they do. Head on over there if you can. Help us, help us defend for now. Um, three's not bad. Mm, will they attack us again? That's my main question. Because if not, we'll have to just concentrate a force here and go to... Oh, there you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. 85, not bad. I kind of want to get another Polish general, but still. I want to get off 8,000. That's not bad. Do it one more time. Please do it one more time. Oh, they're out. Kind of like us. Let's go in. See what we can do. What can we muster up here? Oh, they're on force attack now. Look at that. Um, does, if they're on force attack, do they still lose organization? They can if they're on defense. Okay. I did not know that. I just want one tile. That's all I want. Military reforms, patriotic education. The education sector in Lithuania has seen better days, but we cannot allow ideas to run rampant among our youth. The young people must be properly educated as patriotic Lithuanian Catholics and find institutions like the Reistas, or whatever it's pronounced as. Ritas. Ritas. Alright. Nice. Yeah, let's even go there too. Go there and circle this one division and kill them all off. Nothing like it. The nation and its power. Mut Soviet mutual assistance. The Soviet Union will cede Vilno to the Kingdom of. Oh, that's not bad. Peace with Poland. Ask for peace, strength, and unity. Permanent peace. Vic trust and victory. That's not bad either. I kind of like this one. But, purge popular resistance. I want to get the nation in its power. The victory of the Saimos is nothing but an obstruction to the power of the king. Every to build a nation capable of defending itself, we must grant absolute power to the king. I can't win here. Come on. God dang it. You threw in three divisions? Alright, where are your weakest? There you go. You want to do crap like that? We can do crap like that right back at you. But, we need to get to extensive conscription. Pretty quickly. Can you guys actually go there? No, you can't. That sucks. It's fine. No, oh, these guys chose it. Bulgaria pushes the UK. Okay. That's a little different. Nice. And war artillery is very good. This is 38, of course. Let's get some more research speed. Thank you. Go there now. Kill them all off. There we go. Nice. Go to extensive. Thank you very much. Just want to kill off this horse division. That's all I really wanted. Not bad. Get patriotic education soon, too. Awesome. And they're encircled. There you go. Should be good enough. So after patriotic education. Honestly, peace with Poland's nice and all, but if we get them under us, it doesn't really matter. And strength and unity as well. But then again, uh, nationalist victory. Why the fire now? Getting trust and vic victory and trust is not bad either. Like, that's pretty good to get, too. The uh, army XP gain. Anti-communist militia. Arrest the Nazis in Mamel. Yeah, that's true. We need to do that one. The true enemy integrate the opposition. Mm, patriotic education. Mm. Oh, the Kingdom of Poland. We demand abdi abdication. Well, we can do that immediately. The town was wrapped. Lithuanian people populace has been stirred up against Ignacy Mosiciki and the monarchist supporters stand ready to issue their demands to the government. With Lithuanian support, they will see Mingdalgus III as the ruler appointed by God. Oh, you bet it, he is. Good attack us here. Good. Now, they're going to attack us, and we're just going to attack them. Oh, they're doing force attack. Nice. Good job, guys. Where some of our divisions aren't doing so well either, but whatever. That's why we raised conscription level. Patriotic education. Uh, give us... That's a, th that's a pretty quick focus, so... Uh, purge popular resistance, or... 
We were joining the railways. The Russians and Germans who occupied us have seen nothing more than a, seen us as nothing more than a rural backwater. But no more. Lithuania shall be industrialized with its maximum potential, starting with an upgrade of our railways and infrastructure. Might as well. Nice. As well. Yeah, it's down to 50. Nice for that one. Now it's back to normal 100. Also, I did grab this. So it helps lower, get more army XP gain, more daily command power, and less uh, land doctrine cost. I, I thought that was pretty good. So. Narva. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Gonna hang out, relax for now. Kill these guys off as well. A lot of army XP, which is pretty nice. I'll be honest. It's pretty nice getting a lot of army XP. Ooh, don't lose those divisions. They're doing okay, though. I'm going to wait to do that one, just because you never know. And we'll get some trucks, too, which is great. Uh, could probably need another thing of guns. Artillery. Uh, that stuff, too. Talon. If you can get Talon, that would be great. And we got it. There we go. Yay! Alright, so let's save it real quick. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, Kingdom of Livonia is very nice. So, let's become... Uh, the United Baltic Assembly, whatever it is. Save first, of course. And do this. We can do all this stuff, but we don't really need to. We're from the Commonwealth. Oh. Oh! We, we can't become the Balt... Oh! Okay, so we, we can't do that one yet. So we gotta... Hmm. Why? We should have not done that one. I don't know. Hmm. That kind of sucks. Well, yep. That sucks. Oh, well. Darn it, I wanted to become the Baltic Assembly or something. Polish, Lithuania, coming up. Anschluss of Austria. We're doing the railways. The Kingdom of Poland, yes. We don't need this stuff anymore either. We're still mobilizing, which is nice, which is good. Because we definitely, definitely, definitely need to. You guys are just not great enough, so we're going to convert you to that. Or we're going to become Royal Guards. Actually, the Royal Guards division is not bad. Oh, how much artillery do we have, though? Actually, we might have enough for that. Yeah, we need more manpower, but yeah, that's not bad. Gain some more guns. It'll, it'll work. It's not great, but it'll work. Claim Great Lithuania. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is, Okay, so we're still the Commonwealth. Uh, with Ming Daugus III, it's king of both Poland and Lithuania. All that remains to be seen, or once again merged with Simos with his gem, and the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth will be born anew. That's not bad. Trains? Yes, please. So for these guys. We need to really make just use one division template. Honestly, the Royal Guard's not bad. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So your defense is 205, and your soft tax is 100. 54, defense is 207. But 60 organization. This is a 44 organization. And about the same defense. Recovery rate's 0 0.26. Recovery rate's 0.3. Piercing is 0.4. Your piercing down here is 0.45. 38 breakthrough versus 28. So they're just better on attack, and eh, doesn't matter. Do we have enough artillery for that? Yes, we do. Good. We don't have the map up though, just yet. Which does suck a So, just in, uh, like I did earlier, uh, just say just in case. They might attack us, and honestly, like if the Poles attack us, obviously the Poles aren't, they don't have a really tremendous army, but neither do we. Come on, accept, 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 accept. Please, please, please. Oh. Oh, or just kill them off that way. Or they'll just join us anyways. That's not a bad idea either. Uh, educate the opposition, daily democracy. It's not bad. Purge political resistance first, though. There are rogue elements among a papas who would oppose Smetona and his dictatorship, or a king. These people are enemies of Lithuanian independence and must be eradicated to ensure the continued stability and survival of our nation. Yeah. Force Brothers, Division Tech, and Defensive Quartet would actually be very, very strong. Well, it's stronger. We could use more than that, but yeah, stronger. Um, you know, let me know in the comments. Who should we use here? Should we use Vladis Jurgutis? Oh, it was Poland. Compassionate gentleman, a uh, fascist demagogue. Who should we use here in terms of the agricultural nationalists or the backroom backstabber? Let me know who we should use uh, for political advisors. I'm open to any of these guys, so actually, it's only eight days. It's fine. And we're for the Commonwealth. We might as well. Hey, welcome, welcome aboard. Oh, look at that. Polish leg legionary. A weekly exiled government manpower. Attack and defense on core territory, the four year plan, huh? So, oh, they're on the castle now. Sanation right. There's all this gem. Not bad. Not bad. Another division's always welcome aboard. 
God, we just get. Oh wait, did we quarrel this? Oh, we be become the kingdom of Livonia. Oh yeah, we already took that. I'm so stupid. Oh my goodness. Duh, 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 Mr. Mocha Lover, duh. <laughs> so hope we get their all their divisions because we're going to need. Oh, well. And I think it was a little entente that actually formed this time. Yeah, because I had to replay this and redo this. So Germany's now fighting all these guys. This might be the per perfect time to actually attack Germany. Hmm. 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 That's point two. That's pretty nice. That's two hundred political power. That's so much. Get your three already. We're, not, we're gonna need as much help. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they're pushing down here too. The little check on taunt. The little checks that could. Were they guaranteed by anybody? Uh, no. Oh, you can still falling apart though too. Well, go figure. Come on. The Polish with the winning Commonwealth with Estonia and Latvia, please. Not bad. Could use another resource slot as well, so. Um, claim Greater Lithuania. Lithuania, we know today, is just a mere shadow of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania that came before her. The Commonwealth describes more, more than just a union of Poles and Lithuania. It's a union of Poles, Lithuanians, Ukrainians, Belarusians, Estonians, Latvians. Pretty much. Three days left, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know that this guy, this group can really hold out here. I mean, I'd love to join him immediately. Oh. Of guys with us and who's against us? See, East Prussia. Eastern Prussia is home to countless Lithuanian and Polish minorities. And sound that these men reunited with the comrades in Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Sure, the Commonwealth? Uh, we could do this one too. The Greater Commonwealth? That would be nice to do. That would be very nice. But we need to own all those places to actually court. So, railways, not bad. Uh, dockyards, not bad. Nation and its power is pretty good. As much as I want to get plus 0 0.05 more political power, I think we're going to wait because I want to get some more research as fast as possible. Even modernize our industry. That's really good though. Oh, get more manpower too. Mmm. Mm. Modernize industry first. For too long, Lithuania's output has been defined by agriculture, but no more. We must concentrate our industry around the major city centers, and each day we return Lithuania to a modern economy. Oh my goodness, we actually got some divisions here. So you guys are what? Not terrible. 96 Army XP, Royal Guards, of course. Infantry Template 1 is not worth it at all. This looks like the Polish division. <sighs> Royal Guards, that's looking slightly better than it was earlier. Um, how much anti air do we have? Not a lot. That's okay with me. So, uh, go two on trucks. Let's go three on guns. Uh, let's go three here. Let's go five. Let's go there as well. I'll go six, actually. Let's go three there. And go five. There you go. That's not too bad. We're just lacking a lot of resources. We're on export focus. We can go to limit exports, maybe. Um, 49 divisions extra is not bad, but then again, the Soviet Union is looking like they're probably going historical, which is not good. It is August. Would it be possible to kill off the Germans this fast? Probably not. Uh, Royal Guard divisions. What if we just made them this one? We will gain a lot of manpower. What are you? Ah. Actually, yeah. Actually, that division is better than what we have currently. There you go. Take the infantry. God, they come on. Infantry out. Thank you. Field Marshal, Jonas. Mm, Winter Anti Bolshevik, and Tanas Gustaitas. Cavalry Leader Officer, you go with that group. Uh, you two go right there as well. And then you guys just kind of, well, hmm. Guys, kind of hang out. What type of. Oh my gosh, six. Suppose I want to use them. There you go. There you go. See what you can do. Honestly, go defensive for now. I don't know how much we're really going to need, so... Go defensive as well. More max entrenchment. Trench it out. Run down, trench it out. Checks aren't doing great. They're really not doing great at all. Especially with Hungarians there, too. Oh, the Croatians are dead, though. There's no way we can go to war with Germany this fast, though. Right? Yeah, we can't just fight on them, which is not good. Not good. We're running... Oh, we're still mobilizing. Oh, never mind. We're not mobilizing anymore. Hmm. That's really bad. We might have to rush and join the Allies. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we can't join the Allies. Uh, Purge Popular Resistance. Yeah, I'll probably do that one as well. A reminder of the true enemy. The Hispanic Alliance. Alright. Indivisible Power of the State. Prepared for the inevitable. Oh, yeah. my god, they were fa that was fast. 
Prepare an industrial resistance. Prepare a covert resistance. Restore public elections. Oh, that's true. We can do that one too. We need more support for that, so we can't go with the indivisible power of the state. Um, we might want to join the allies as fast as possible. Then we might have to do that. As much strong as we'd like to be, this ain't looking too good for us right now. I'll go one more. Uh, not great. These guys are not bad, but. Move capital to Vilnius. Honestly, where's Vilnius? Well, it's probably Vilno, so. Uh, it's not terrible, but at this point. Mmm. Oh, hello. What the heck happened here? Right? Oh, why did they make the Ukraine there? Oh my goodness, why? Why did they put the Ukraine out already? Legionary Romania. That's a fat Croatia. Why did you... Oh my gosh, why did you leave the Bohemian Empire there? Oh my gosh, that's so stupid. So, the engines are nice, though. Uh, engineers, recon, get some recon, since we have that already. Grab that. It's good. 38. Oh, we're, we're going to be in a world of hurt soon. Actually, probably need some anti-tank, too. Yeah, let's be real. We're going to need some serious anti-tank. Hmm. Limit exports. How much are we extracting? Almost nothing. Even though we could still use going down limit exports. Yeah, I'll do that one. It's fine. Shoot up a slightly more. Yep, steel. A little bit more aluminum. Not great. Not bad though. Uh, this is used for two things. Oh, why did the French go fascist? Oh my goodness. That is so not good. I got some more shippies though. Train until you die. There you go. Modernize your industry is not bad. Um, Burge a popular group. Actually, we only we need all the following. Strength, unity, victory, and trust. Uh, that's gets well. Uh, I want to arrest the Nazis, but Soviet mutual assistance. Poland is a prime target of both Soviets and Germans, and everyone knows it. We've heard of whispers that there's plans to partition Poland between the two powers. Perhaps we may be able to persuade the Soviets to seek Lithuanian support in their efforts in exchange for the return of Vilnius to its rightful owners. I mean, we already have it, so. But still. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're supposed to hold out here. We're probably gonna end up dying. Yeah. Hmm. It's not bad. 80% is not bad. I mean, we could build up a lot of land forts around here. That wouldn't be too bad. Land forts are nice. But how many are needed, really, to hold the line against a German onslaught? And that's my question. Like, we don't have that big of an industry. Not really. You're gonna go ding dong dong. Bong bong ding. Especially with us surrounded, and we don't even have Romania with us as well. And the Soviets want to touch us as well, and we don't like getting touched by those guys over there too, so. Eh, you're almost done with that one. Do that one. Do this too as well. Or just not do it, okay. Yeah, so I've got a lot of land forts. Um, you never know. A lot of forts. I'm glad we went with a grand battle plan. Oh, mutual assistance and trust and victory. There's nobody we can trust in our government. Not Casius Gunius. Uh, not Augustinus Voldemaras. Not even Rastiki. Powerful men are cowardly and treacherous. But a rifle and a good man to fire it, that we can trust, and that will bring us victory. God, I hope so. Individual power of the state. Second BN award. Merchants of the military. Expand the military budget, so we can't go that way. Beyond the Baltic. Enforce martial law. Huh. Treaty of Krayova. And then purge popular resistance, of course. If you want to do this again, please go ahead. Oh, we're so screwed. Oh! Okay. Okay. Well, that means they're mobilizing their war economy. Which is not good for us. But. Okay. Um, did America join the Allies or something? Alf land. You're f oh god no! Overthrow the ruling government. Do they go? Why? You're both democratic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I might have to do some funky stuff here, maybe. But why are you fighting these guys then? 
Why did it go to war? I don't understand. Zog submits. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Hmm. 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 I get more stability, that'd be nice, but we don't really need it, but okay. Might as well. We might be able to hold out against the Germans, maybe? Maybe? You guys are the 20 combat, which is relatively decent. You guys need to become at least this one. That's not bad. Make it even stronger than you guys were earlier. You guys are fine. Oh, motorize you guys. There you go. That should help out at least a wee bit. Just a wee bit. And you guys are on motors as well, so. Honestly, we got more than enough political power here. So, hmm. Chief of the Navy, just to get this over with. 5%, 6. You get more Navy Locks that way. Do that one. Arrest the Nazis in Mamel? Pretty much. Mamel is rife with Nazis and fascist sympathizers and is creating a precedent for a German invasion. If we hold the Mamel region, then we must make Nazi party membership. Uh. A uh, crime punishable by imprisonment and make adjustment or ju adequate preparation for potential Nazi invasion. If they take my mail, that sucks. I mean, that's not a huge loss, but still. Kosic. Bulgaria. Honestly, this is good to that. What do you mean you passed the neutrality act? You went to war with the French and the Allies. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Wait, they joined. The they went fascist, but they still joined. What? What? What is going on? But I was trying to say, it's a good thing that Croatia got everything here, so they lose all their manpower, hopefully. If I want to, yeah, they're probably going to lose it all. That's going to be a lot of resistance. A lot of resistance. Uh, that's not bad. We really need you on the front lines here, though. We need you on both lines, but... Hmm. Three count with is not bad, but it could be a little better. How much support going do we have? Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. NTR is actually looking okay. You might be able to throw some on here, too. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my gosh. We're screwed. Um, we got some land forts all around here. It's not bad. <sighs> I just don't trust the Germans. I know we could be like, building up more cities and stuff, but like... Mm, 80%. 80%. Oh, actually, go 100. That's nice. Keep making some land forts and stuff like that, but mm. I'll go and desperate stuff. All right, arrest the Nazis. They haven't done it yet. It is a historical, so we might have some time. Maybe. Count. Oh, fascist support's going up too, huh? Weird. It's alright. And then a reminder of the true enemy. During the war of 1918, we faced brutal oppression by the Red Army and the Fry Corps, and with war looming on the horizon, a bitter sting of those memories are burning in the minds of the Lithuanian ministers. We cannot delay. We must decide which one of these powers is the greatest threat and make adequate preparations for war. Railways would be nice, but we don't need railways. Uh, railways, yeah, we can't even do some of this stuff anyway, so it's kind of fine with us. So we'll see what happens. A decent amount of manpower. A decent amount. Uh, recon, war, austerity train. It's everybody's vulnerable to regular train, but it can be more easily replaced. Alright, well, let's get more off with them. Alright, you guys are fine, actually. You guys actually, you might be able to hold out. They have tanks. We all know the Germans have got tank boys, but. Just casually thinning out our line even more, that's all. And we There you go. Hmm. Get the city done and get more melee. I, 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 I want land forts. Especially, especially mounts. We should be able to hold out there, but. Uh, are you guys. You have. Only recon. You definitely need engineers. We need way more trucks. We need way more sport equipment. We need just so much. Crap. There's a point even making fighters. We need, oh, crap. Well. German forces are massed in, in Ostpreußen, and the, uh, their foreign ministry has uh, presented us with an ultimatum, of course. We may immediately see the Mamel territory to them or face a threat of military action. Should we agree to their demands? Honestly? Or that's the Nazis. Hmm. Can we afford a war with them? No one's guaranteeing us. 
Someone might guarantee that we wait, though. Can you guarantee us, UK? Please? Please? If we give them a mill, it's not that big of a loss. Yes, we build a fort in there. Literally just one fort. So we give it to them. That's not a terrible thing. I... Uh, it gives us how many more months to work with? It gives us like three or four more months. Maybe build up another military factory. A couple more forts as well. It gives us more time to make more divisions as well. So I think... That's fine. Alright, so we can't... We wasted time with that one. Whatever. A reminder of the true enemy. That's fine. Whatever. They can claim a mail. That might give us actually a lot more time, actually. Um, just in case. Just because... They might not do things in order. They might do things actually really, really out of order, but still. Not stuff for that. Uh, actually, yeah. Armor trains are nice. Railway guns would be nice. Can't really afford them, of course, but whatever. And let's get a general. Oh, it's a cavalry guy. Oh, well, whatever. Another cavalry guy. Okay. And then, yeah, you guys just make a lot of divisions. Our mind of the true enemy and the indivisible power of the state. It'd be nice. Because we can't do this one. Indivisible power of the state. I am the state. The state is me. With well, the laws and rules of the dictatorship firmly established, all that remains is to ensure that the power of the dictator is absolute. Though so much for a return to democracy, we know this to be a dangerous and foolhardy idea, while the Baron Eagle's collective breath is not as hot on Lithuania's neck. But I think we'll probably end it there for today. This is getting a little, uh, making me a little nervous when we're sandwiched between these two giant powers. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as I watch your allies try to kill off the United States. And uh, hopefully we don't die against the Germans or the USSR. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.